Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Chums to say, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, for you guys in the view of us, I'm doing a video on the hauler overhaul. Yeah, so I did one on shuttles the other day. If you didn't catch that, I'll put it in the top right hand corner. Go and hit that one up. So I thought I'd now work my way around to the haulers, the Goliaths of this series of ships. And I like the haulers, I really do. The actual aesthetics of the hauler are freaking gnarly. I mean, I don't think they need to change anything at all with the way the haulers look, apart from maybe the banana ones with no freaking wings that just make very little sense. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, you can see here I've called mine the smuggle wagon because, yeah, I use it for smuggling stuff from A to B. But there could be more added to it in depth to make that smuggling a little better. You know, now we've got this expanded cargo, I would like it that any sort of smuggling stuff that you've got or any contraband automatically goes to your cargo hold automatically unless there's no room then it might spill over into other areas but first and foremost any sort of pirate contrabandy type stuff automatically goes to cargo that's what i would like to see happen as a little bit of a plus for a hauler class not any other just a hauler class now Right, so when you're in space, I'd like it that if you had your own little method of hitting up a galactic trade terminal inside a flight, or you get on the old CB and you say, hey, I've got some stuff I want to offload. Do you want to come and grab some off of me? You know, like how you get those traders sort of interrupt you as you're pulsing. Well, in a hauler, how about you can interrupt them and call in an actual trader to fly on in and you can access the menu. Now, inside of this menu, people, if you, if you ever need to sell anything, just interact with one of these guys and go to the sell menu and you can sell your stuff rather than have to fly all the way over to the space station and all that sort of shenanigans. But I would like to be able to do this on the fly inside of a hauler, actually put out a communique, call in somebody, sell a load of stuff. Also, it's a great way to buy a load of tritium to fuel your engines, because I think haulers should use up more fuel in space, pulse fuel, since they're such a heavy freaking load. So I think pulsing it should be slower and use more fuel. So there's a bit of a drawback to having a hauler, but there needs to be quite a lot of pros to having a hauler to make that sort of tangible and workable, which is what this video is mainly about, not so much the actual cons. Yeah, it's more about the pros. So that's one of the actual cons though, using more fuel to move about in space. Base. There will be another later on in this video, so stay tuned. So now we've got those anomaly detector beacons. It would be nice if haulers had a perk to actually use more of the upper tier of the loot table when mining. So it makes the hauler more of a mining vessel and probably better inside of GEC systems for doing the mining and all that sort of shenanigans, but we'll touch on that in a moment. But yes, double the drop rate for anomaly beacons and the higher tier stuff like platinum. Now, it'd also be nice if the cargo scan deflector worked automatically rather than having to go into the quick menu and quickly hammer it. It'd be nice if it just worked automatically inside of haulers. And it, uh, you know, it's got like a, about a 90% hit rate. And inside of GEC systems, I'm thinking maybe if you do go into a, a GEC system and go into the station, so you spend the time to go in there and actually go over to the Galactic Trade Terminal, maybe you're given a 10% markup on everything out of ship envy. <laughs> the Gex envy your freaking hauler. They're like, oh, hauler god, or whatever. It'd be nice if they actually reacted as well, some of the species to the ship that you're flying every now and again when you talk to an NPC and say, oh my god, you've got a fantastic ship. Where'd you get it? Blah, blah, blah. And give you some awesome module for your ship. So, mission. So I mentioned this again in the shuttle one, having shuttle related missions. I would like hauler related missions as well. So some of those missions like loot cargo from crashed freighters, smuggle contraband from a pirate system, convert a relic at a colossal archive. Yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? I mean, we've got those machines at the freaking Colossal Archive and we hardly ever re really use them. So why not have a mission where you have to go and dig up a relic or something or pick one up from somebody out in space, like a communique on your old CB. Here, mate, come over here. Buy one of those sort of relic-y, beady type things. Take it down to an archive and convert it and see if you get a markup and then take it back to the guild envoy and say, there you go, there's your little thing that I've converted for you. That'd be a nice little mission. So yeah, complete a mission from a minor setup. So at the moment, minor settlements, they have an NPC walking around in there. When you talk to them, they usually give you a little fetch quest. So maybe there's a mission here to say, somebody at this minor settlement needs you to run an errand. Go do that, come back up here, double complete a mondo, mission with inside a mission, double loot. Heck yeah, that's pretty nice. Gather salvage tech and ancient bones, or construct an outpost. Yes, because these could be the ship for base builders with all that extra storage. 
Holy Fajanoris, a giant freaking mecha worm. Yes, and I'm also thinking another sort of drawback for actually flying around in a hauler is the launch thruster fuels. I'm thinking as you take off, because it's such a heart heavy load, maybe have it so it uses 50% of the actual launch thruster. So you can only take off and land twice unless you upgrade your launch thrusters. It's a heavier ship, it should take more to take it off, you know? So yeah, another drawback. So fuel and launch thruster. So that's the two drawbacks for this. But yeah, at the same time, you've got another scanner built in. So the scanner that's built into the ship, you can just access from the quick menu, and it's just like having these charts. I'm using these charts as an example, but it comes up with the minor settlements and the colossal archives and all the other sorts of shelters and buildings and habitable areas. So you can go and interact with different NPCs and do stuff. And that's kind of where this plays in, is running errands, fetch quests. And that kind of ties into the missions and ties into the whole thing of having a hauler. Now I did mention this on the shuttles the other day about missions for the shuttle. Shuttles. Another one for the missions for shuttles would probably be taxiing people around, come to think of it. A lot of people put that inside the comments. It was in my original Ships Perks video, which I put in the top right hand corner. Go check out that because it's a shorter video and it touches on every ship type. These videos I'm doing now, I'm going to do the one for um, fighters, I'm going to do one for explorers. So if you're either of those, yeah, and exotics, so yeah, hold on to your seats for that. If you haven't already subscribed and you like the sound of that, hit that button, hit the notification bell, and you won't miss the episode. Anyway, I'm flying over to a Colossal Archive and as I mentioned before I would like to have a mission to do with Colossal Archiving and that's the conversion of sort of like trinkets and treasures for the actual missions agent. It would be nice if we could run these missions from our actual freighters and uh, because now the freighters are kind of like a multiplayer sort of meeting place aren't they? Because when you run a mission from the Nexus say it, you can get other people try to join. If you've already got your group, you've already got your fire team, it knackers it all up. So it'd be nice if we had a mini Nexus cube inside of our freighter to run missions from. As a side note, in fact, I might as well do an H <laughs> another video on that at some point. But there we go, people. So that's my ideas for a complete sort of hauler overhaul. And I think it could work quite nicely, especially with the ability to scan for these sort of settlements and for the uh, colossal archives. Because at the moment, we're sort of you know, relying on these freaking maps, aren't we? And it would make the hauler far better for doing smuggling runs, wouldn't it? Especially if it put all this stuff automatically into the cargo hold, like I mentioned. It's like even when the Sentinels do scan you, if they are successful and they say, can we have all your contraband because we've found it? Maybe you could have the option to auto shift everything into cargo space and say, well, I think you need to scan me again, sir. <laughs> Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.